Maltese and a Chihuahua mix. And Chihuahua jeans are strong AF. He looks a lot like a Chihuahua, as you can see, with Maltese ears. And he is three months now. I got him when he was two months. And so now we're just training him, trying to get him house trained. And he's so sweet, but he's really hyper. And so, as you guys know, Maltese's have really long hair, but his fur is the softest fur I have ever felt in my life. And he has a lot of it. It's just straight. He has a lot of fur. Like if I give him a bath, he looks really skinny, but he's getting fat now. His fur, oh, was that a yarn? His fur is so soft, you guys. Like it's so soft. And um, I just, Gave him a bath so he smells good. And uh, so yeah, I've been taking him outside for like four or five times a day so that we can get him house trained. Um, so he can roam around the house, um, no biting. So he can roam around the house while I'm not here or whatever and without tinkling everywhere. So that's the, that's the task to get him house trained. And um, so yeah, he's a real sweet dog. He's so sweet. When he first came to me, he was full of worms. So he was really sick. And no, Copper, <laughs> he was really sick. And so of course I had to get him dewormed. Then he had a bunch of fleas on him. I don't know what the people were doing to him, where his living situations, where he was sleeping. So he had a bunch of fleas and worms were killing him. So he was so sick. When he first came to me, he wouldn't eat anything and um he was just pitiful you guys so i took him to the vet um, i gave him a dewormer over the counter and then they gave him a dewormer and um so yeah he's feeling much better now and he's to his normal self which is hyper copper which is very hyper so yeah so you guys will probably see him in probably all of my vlogs because he's a part of the family now isn't that right copper say hi there he is. There he is. There's sweet boy. So yeah, look at him. He is five, almost six pounds. Now he came to me. He was 3.8 pounds. So he was a little thing. Now he's big. He's getting bigger. And I don't think he'll get much bigger than 10 pounds. So this was an early Christmas gift. It, he came to me unexpectedly. So <laughs> I have been wanting a dog, but I wasn't for sure if I was ready to get one. So when he came, it was just like, oh, okay, we have a dog now. So yeah, this was my Christmas gift and I am enjoying this little puppy. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys all about my little copper. Um, yeah, so I think, no, don't bite on my couch. I think his mother was a Maltese and his father was a Chihuahua. As you guys can see, he has chihuahua. He looks a lot like a chihuahua. And if his ears go up, you can definitely, you see that? That is chihuahua, honey. But his coat is not chihuahua. It's more Maltese, but it's not as long. His brothers and sisters were real furry, but um, the person who gave it to me chose him because he was the cutest out of all of them. Is what he said. So yes, I think he's so sweet. I mean, he's so soft. And JJ and Jaquela love him. We love this little dog. He's a part of the family now. So, yeah. Um, while I'm at work, um, we'll see what happens. I'm off for the next two weeks or week and a half. So, I'll be able to train him very closely. So, let's see how well he does in the next couple of weeks. So, yeah. So, you guys, I'm at the vet just like this. Ain't nobody got time. Good morning, you guys. So we're bright and early at the vet. I'm with Copper. And he has to get some um, second round of vaccines or something like that. His distemper and whatever else they say. And um, I had a couple of questions for the, the doctor about he has a hernia on his belly that's sticking out. And, um, and I had a couple of questions about how often to bathe him because, you know, we always want our puppies to smell good and 
he starts to be outside and rolling around in the leaves at this time so he's starting to smell like you know a wet dog and I just wanted to smell good all the time so I was wondering you know without drying out his skin how often should I bathe him um, so that's some questions that I have for um, his doctor and yeah also I have some questions about the dog insurance because they're expensive vet appointments are expensive copper stop and um and so i just wanted to know some more um information on the vet insurance how much it's going to cost and i see they have all these brochures here and um, i don't know if any come here copper come ah, 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 ah. no you went the wrong way see you went the wrong way but anyway, so I just have a couple of questions for her. So I'm just waiting for her to come in. I do like this um, animal, it's like called an animal hospital veterinarian um, because uh, it's close to where I live and um, the people are really nice. However, the first time I came, I was kind of like turned off because of how long it took them to get to us. But I think, I don't know, I think it seems, things seem to be, be moving um, now they were going through some it was around Thanksgiving so the, everyone was trying to get their puppies in to be seen so I guess that could be um, the reason why but today it seems that they're on track and everything is good so we'll see um, yeah so I'm just sitting here waiting for the doctor now and I'll check back in later Good morning. The doctor's here to see you. I'm Dr. Corbett. How are you? Pretty good. Copper, you are adorable. Uh, say thank you. You're adorable, mister. <laughs> All right. So the nurse said we're doing well. Yes. Eating better. Eating better. Like yes. Puppy again. Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. He was ahead. so sick the first time. I was oh, like, oh, it was the worms. Oh, you look like you're doing good now. Yeah. Yes, you are. <laughs> we got a stool sample. Thank you for bringing that. No problem. Um, that's spinning down in the centrifuge okay. right now. It'll be a few minutes before All I can right. look at that under the microscope. So I'm going to go ahead and do copper's exam okay i'm gonna have you hold on sure. for a minute oh oh sorry no that's okay i didn't realize it was retractable oh, yeah <laughs> he smells everything you smell all the puppies huh oh what do you smell him and he still has this hernia yeah it was just a little one yeah. we'll fix that at the time that we get him neutered okay if you want it fixed, yeah. I'm assuming you would. Yes, but of course. Because it's pretty mild and it hasn't gotten like really big, uh -huh. and because we can easily, what's called easily reducible, where we can push it back in. Okay. We'll probably just make an extra incision. Okay. When he's already asleep, okay. and we'll go ahead and just sew that little part of the uh, abdominal wall up. Okay. To make sure he doesn't have to worry about it later. Yes. Look at those pretty baby teeth. Yes. Oh, yes. Would you guys nail um trim his nails today? Okay, good. We can also show you how to do it if you want to do oh, it. Okay. Home. He's so hyper and he is. <laughs> Hi, sweet boy. Okay, I oh, get him all riled oh, up. Mama got you all riled up. Didn't she? Your heart sounds great, buddy. Good. It's all right. Mama's right there. Why, baby? And how often should I bathe him? You know, honestly, most dogs, once, twice a month at the twice most. Twice a month at the um, most. Using an oatmeal-based shampoo. Oh, okay. Or you can get the little puppy tearless formulas okay. as well at this stage. Just making sure to try not to get it in his ears. Yeah. You may want to pick up an ear cleaner. An ear, and that's what I wanted just to. kind of rinse out his ears with an ear cleaner. Because okay. they're designed, if you get water in the ears, that they'll actually dry them out. Okay. There's like a drying agent in them. Ooh, and so okay. you put the ear cleaner in there, and then you kind of just... Take a little piece of gauze or, or you know, cotton ball and uh -huh. then just kind of soak up whatever oh, whatever's, whatever's left, left yeah. in there. Okay. And um, and then you can use that after a bath. Okay. And so, and and I wouldn't use flea shampoos. I would rely on the topicals okay. or the oil monthly okay, products perfect. because the flea shampoos can be quite dry yeah. and a little bit harsh for puppy skin. Okay. Um, so like an oatmeal based shampoo or okay. something like that and maybe do it once or twice a month. Okay. You can, if he gets dirty and uh, puppies, puppy wipes, mess, yeah. you can use little puppy wipes mm -hmm. or something to do like little spot cleaning okay. more frequently if you need to. That's yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, All right. 
But you look good. Okay, <laughs> let's have Mama distract you so I can give you a treat. Yay! A treat, and then I'll just do a little sneak shot, hopefully. Okay. While you're doing some oh, treat shit. giving. You want some treats, Kyle? So I'm going to make sure that he stays facing you. And he loves these treats. Come on, stay right here. Ooh, is it good? Is it good? Little shot. Is it good? There we good go. Good job. Good job, buddy. Yeah. I bought him these treat treats at home now. and he loves them. Yeah, what a good copy. Good job, Copper. Is that good? Is that good? He loves these. Hello, baby. Hello. Okay, his fecal was negative. Okay, good. But we're going to give him some parvental yes. yes. to be on the safe yes. side since he's a puppy. And the parvental is for? It's it's a dewormer. A dewormer. But we wouldn't be able to see any eggs okay. under the microscope. Under the microscope. So okay. when they're puppies, we usually like to get two negative fecals in a okay. row. Perfect. So. And she said, did she tell you about his other, the dog park? Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Shoot, I forgot to get that. Yes. Come here. Let me go get that one. Okay. Too. All right. It's just an oral one. It's just too. an oral one. Yeah. Right. Hold on, baby. You just want to play all day. Come here, Copper. Copper, sit. Sit down. Good boy. You need a treat for that. You need a treat for that, Copper. Come here. Sit. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit, sit down. Look what I got. Sit, sit down. Ah, ah, ah. Sit down. Sit. Good boy. I, I said sit, Copper. You just, you just want your treat. Good boy. Good boy. I got another one. Sit, sit, Copper. Copper. Thank you. Calm down. Good job. Good job, baby. You just sweetie. As much as you can play with his feet. And I do quite often. Oh, that's easy. You can get these little trimmers at I'm um, gonna go today. like Feeder Supply. Okay. And I'd get the smaller, the smaller one smaller since ones. he's a baby. Yes. And you just tape off the white tip. You okay. do not want to get down to the pink. Yes. Because that's okay. the quick. Oh. And that's what's going to, he's going to make them cry. Yeah, we don't want them. you to cry. Yeah, good. You got you one and you're being a good baby. Good yeah. job, Copper. You are being a good baby. Good job, sweet boy. Probably the slower you go, the better. At first. Okay. Uh, oh, I gotcha. Yeah, I gotcha. I gotcha. I'm sorry. You oh, jumped right when I. Him. You jumped right when I. So this is stuff is amazing. Okay. You can buy this at Feeder Supply too. Uh -huh. It's called Quick Stop. Okay. It's nothing poisonous oh, okay. or anything like that. And you just, which is really not bleeding very mm -hmm. bad, but just stick it in there. Mm -hmm. Kind of put it on. Okay. Sometimes with his little. And ones. what does that do? That stops it from bleeding. Okay. All right. Or you can use a bar of soap. Oh. If you don't have any quick stop, okay. it works great. And are we all done? So yeah, I'm ready. We're done. done. You ready to go bye bye? We're going to go to feeder supply, so he should have great mm -hmm. fun in Good there. Job. Come on, let's go. You should have fun in here. Wipe your paw. Wipe Come on, over here. Hmm, all right, we need a new harness. We need a new harness for the baby puppy. So cute. We're cardinal. We're a cardinal family, so I'm sure the kids would love that. It's so cute, right? It's like a collar bandana. I also saw online some African um, print ones that I love. That I definitely know that I'm going to get him. Seriously, you guys, honey, with him and trying to find stuff and buy stuff, girl, had me all over the place in this feeder supply. But we did find him a harness. It's a little big on him, but he can grow into it. He is expected to get to approximately 10 pounds. We'll see. Come on, sweet boy. Come on, copper. So... But yeah, y'all should have seen me in that store, like all over the place with him. Cause he was just so excited with all the other puppies around. And uh, I love this harness cause it's not choking him. Whenever, you know, I have to pull him back. 
So. You guys, I'm outside with Copper taking him for a walk in 30 degree weather. Training a puppy in 30 degree weather is no joke. Ain't nobody got time for that. He need to hurry up and do what he gotta do. He's so sweet though. Copper, you gonna use the bathroom? He keep peeing, that's it. You want a treat? You want a treat? Ah, 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 ah. Sit, sit, sit down. Good boy. Sit, sit down. Hey, hey, sit, sit. Good boy. Good boy, Copper. Good boy, sweet boy. Oh, you're so cute. Good job. You want some of that? You guys, these treats are his favorite. He loves these. These are amazing for dogs. Ain't that right, sweet boy? You like them, don't you? You want another one? You want another one? You better sit down. You better sit down. Uh, uh, you No. I'm going to scoot it back. Don't you move. Don't you move. Da, uh, uh, don't you uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Look at mommy. Copper. Good job, sweet boy. Give me Paul. Give me Paul. Yay. Yay. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Sit. But that's a good boy. That's a good boy. Good boy.